Welcome to Nature with Gabe, the channel that connects you to nature and incredible people just like yourself. Last month, I had the opportunity to go up to northern Minnesota to visit the Sac Zimbog. It's this incredible area with a bunch of unique ecosystems and tons of biodiversity. It's most well known for northern owls and winter finches, and February is a great time to go see those birds. So I was really excited to go up there, but I only had 24 hours to explore the bog. We drove up and got to the bog just in time to start looking for owls as the sun was going down. So we just tried for Northern Hawk Owl. It's been seen in this area. We drove to look for a great gray owl, came back over here, and then someone just told us that it was up in a snag over there just for a couple seconds and blew off. So we just missed it. Extremely unlucky, but thankfully we have tomorrow to uh, continue to look for it and hope. It's the next morning. We're back at the snag, waiting to see if this Hawk Owl shows up. It's really beautiful and like misty out here. Um, so far, no owl. So we got the hawk owl just now, way back in one of those trees. We had to hike it down on the road a little bit into this wildlife management area. And uh, luckily someone else was here and they spotted it and they told us if you go a little further you might be able to see it and thankfully we were able to locate it so really excited uh, it's the first time ever seeing a hawk owl really neat bird and we're out just in this ocean of snow uh so it's it's pretty neat so on our way back from seeing the hawk owl in the distance the bird actually moved um and we didn't know where it was and then right as we were getting back to where our cars were, the bird was right there. So we got some pretty darn good looks, some really great photos, and it was just a really cool experience on this superb owl Sunday uh, to go out and see a northern hawk owl. New bird uh, that I'd never seen before and in such an amazing habitat here in Minnesota. So we just stopped at a feeder setup that they have alongside the road, and there's a lot of cool birds. Um, some new birds I've never seen before, such as the Canada Jay, Boreal Chickadee, uh, Pine Grosbeak, there's Evening Grosbeaks, there's Red-Breasted Nuthatches, Black-Capped Chickadees, um, Downy Woodpecker, Hairy Woodpecker. Lots of cool stuff and lots of activity, uh, and, you know, great looks being here at the feeder. There's also lots of tiny little red squirrels, which are fun to watch, uh, but re really just enjoying seeing all the different birds come in, getting really good looks at them is always fun and um, getting to know some of their vocalizations and behaviors and everything like that. I'm gonna sit, hang out here for a bit and enjoy this and uh, keep moving. Stopped at a little boardwalk trail, got out, and there were some feeders there, so we saw some more gross beaks. We saw another Canada Jay, but we found Bohemian Waxwings, which are actually pretty tough to get because they kind of seem to be flying all over the place and cover a lot of distance. And uh, we're really lucky we got to three, see three of them up in the tree, uh, get pretty good looks at them. So. Yeah, we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna go uh, see if we can't find some more of the birds that are kind of specialty for this part of the state and this far north in the U.S. So we made it to the visitor center here at Saxon Bog. I'm really hoping we spot Sparky Stanassis. He has an awesome YouTube channel, highlights the bog, helps out with the friends group here that does some amazing work. I'll link that down below. You should check it out. Had a great time visiting Saxon Bog. Absolutely amazing place. Really glad I got to come out here 
and I think I had like seven or eight new species of bird that I've never seen before. Absolutely beautiful place, beautiful habitat. Definitely recommend to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and always remember nature is powerful and so are you. Have a great day. Just got a bonus bird. We're flying down the highway, heading south, and I'm looking out the passenger window west, and I saw the silhouette of a bird in a tree, and it was a ruffed grouse. We were trying so hard to find a ruffed grouse. Supposedly there's a lot of them in the bog this year, but we missed them, and we were going home sad, and sure enough, up in this tree over here, there's a grouse eating some buds off of the tree. Really, really cool last bird, a buzzer beater bird to see, uh, really makes this trip. So awesome find and you never know what you're gonna see even on the way out.